It happens so gradually, I don't think you know that it's happened until it's right there. I had no idea of the devastating effect it would have both on the individual and the family. Make time for yourself, somehow, somewhere. Maybe if it's half an hour, walk around the block. It's important, very important. She calls me up. The door needs to be fixed. I hear a noise at 11 o'clock at night, you know. And I can't deal with two houses. Mom, move in with me. No, I don't want to. Let me move in with you. No, I... To the extent that you can find people who can do things for you or who can take care of you, you're going to need more breaks and more downtime or you're going to lose your patience and you're going to lose track of stuff. The hardest thing is me for me to understand that uh, when she used to read my mind before and she could reason all the things I was going to do and we, you know, we had this rapport, I knew what she was going to do, she knew what I was going to do, now that's not there. It's a very difficult job. It is a very difficult job, but they are still the same human being that they were before they became ill. So I just learned to appreciate the moments when they take place. Welcome back to the Savvy Caregiver Program. I'm Ken Hepburn, one of the creators of the program, and this is the second weekly class. If you've not yet viewed the previous session, you should do so at this time. Judy Doloff will again be the instructor for the classroom session. In this second session, you'll learn about the emotional impact of caregiving. You'll learn how to reduce stress and take care of yourself. You'll learn how confusion impacts challenging behaviors. And you'll learn how taking charge will have a positive impact on your loved one. And after watching all of the classroom sessions, you too will have better insight into becoming a savvy caregiver.